Aquarius, welcome to the Seasons of Love, a new series that I have started for you guys where I will do it in the seasons and right now is spring. So we're looking at spring love and what I'm really picking up and this is the third time that I'm trying to do your video. So third time's a charm, right? But what we're really looking at is where you're at in your current relationship, if you're single or if you're in a relationship, dating, committed, we're gonna take a look at the energies and I'm gonna read these cards as you and I'll pull a different deck for the partner or future partner that we're looking at regarding you. So this is for the sun, moon and rising sign of Aquarius. Some of you guys are feeling amazing right now. You're really capturing the energy of spring. Wherever you live, the flowers are in bloom. You must not be in Colorado because it's snowing, but you are feeling independent, strong, sexy, everything. The Nine of Pentacles is a person who feels free. They're single, they're independent, strong. They have built a world around them that is exactly what they want. Now, the only thing you may be missing is a romantic relationship. Some of you have just come out of a relationship where you have recently become single and feeling that uh, beautiful energy of starting a brand new life. The Ace of Pentacles is a beautiful energy. These two cards are perfect for you. You may have been really focused on your money. Some of you have been, you are a business owner where you've been throwing all of your attention into your career and not really focused on the energy of creating an actual true love life relationship but you have an opportunity coming in. The Ace of Pentacles, this is beautiful energy. This is something that is very grounded, long-term, a future opportunity coming in for you. So let's take a look at your partner and or current, current or future, <laughs> get those words right, and see what's going on with them in their life because this is lovely energy on your end. So we have the King of Cups. You know, the King of Cups is a person who is emotionally available. This is a person who knows how to start a beautiful romantic relationship, long-term relationship. Now there's some negative aspects, of course, as there is, you know, there, there is with all the cards in the tarot. This person sees you as somebody that they could start a new beginning with. They are looking at you like, wow, completely mesmerized by your ability to stand on your own and be so happy in what you're doing the way you're doing it. We have the Seven of Cups, so they most definitely are seeing you as somebody that they can create this new beginning with. They're looking at you as an option. You know, I love this deck. Look at this deck, it's so beautiful. So we have two people in the background, this person on the floor going, I don't know what to do. So they may have come out of a relationship where they weren't quite ready to, or they're hesitating right now to come forward to you, feeling that confusion, do I? start this new beginning or do I not? Do I look at other opportunities available to me? But they really do see you as a counterpart to them, as a person they could have in their life to start this brand new beginning. Feeling very romantic right now. They're feeling very optimistic about the two of you. And again, I do feel some of you have just come out of a relationship and what I'm seeing is Three to four years, you could have been married. You may have uh, been living with this person or just dating somebody, but you've set yourself free. And this person is the person you were dealing with and they're watching you. They're feeling like confused. How can you just start this new beginning without them? So they may be a little bit of ego attached to this individual. And I do feel there may be a, an age gap um, where one definitely about maturity. We have the Queen of 
cups. So you also, like I said, you you've built this world around you. You've created this new life for yourself. You're feeling financially stable, financially ready to move into a relationship. And you emotionally have healed all the wounds of the past. You're ready. You are ready. And they're looking at you. You see, they're watching you. For those of you where this was a person you were dealing with, yes, they're watching you. Confused. How can you be ready to move forward so quickly? But it isn't about that. You know, the Queen of Cups is a person who is very... It's the counterpart to the King of Cups. So this is a relationship. You want your true counterpart. You want to be a power couple for some of you. And that's what you're looking for. Yeah. You may have been dealing with a person who was not healed over their past. They still hadn't healed over somebody that they were in a romantic relationship way before they met you. They are complacent. They're sitting here. They're not doing anything. Now, oftentimes the eight of cups, half cups up, half cups down, means they're going to leave because they're not emotionally satisfied. However, the person you had your eye on, they're complacent. They're just sitting there. Some of you, this was your partner. And for another group of you, this is somebody that you know that you've been waiting for them to heal, focusing on you, may very well be an actual true spiritual connection. And the reason I say that is because of this card. There's a lot of spirituality, a spiritual connection between the two of you. But you may have walked away and said, heck no, you want to sit there? You want to do nothing? I'm moving forward. I'm ready to create the love life that I want. And so you are most definitely moving forward. That's good. So, yeah, you are completely feeling. You got your sexy on. Your confidence level is risen up. Like I said, you are feeling amazing right now. You're ready to get out there. You're ready to date people. You are ready, Aquas, to move forward. And I am an Aquarius also. So this is all about you saying, yeah, I'm not waiting anymore. It doesn't matter who this is, whether it's your current partner, somebody that is in your past, you're ready. You feel confident. You are ready for love. You've healed your past. You're moving forward. You're getting out there. The Queen of Wands is somebody who is very charismatic, very social. People love you. They love you. You might be in the spotlight as well, which could be why they're hesitating, okay? For some of you, this is somebody brand new and they're watching you on social media. They're watching you somehow being in the spotlight is what I'm hearing, actually being in the spotlight, okay? So regarding this, yeah, yeah, most definitely. The higher font, looking at traditions and values. And for those of you where this is somebody that you were involved with, like I said, they're in a state of confusion. How can you just move forward? How can you do that? We were married. We were in a committed relationship. But they are not seeing things from a different angle yet. They will. They will. Right now, they're complacent, they're not taking action, they're not moving forward. They're feeling out of balance within themselves. And some of them, this may be, we do have two different women, they could have somebody else where they're looking at options again. But they see you as somebody they could start this new beginning. They see you as somebody they could have a real long-term relationship with. And the Three of Wands, this is most definitely for some of you, like I said, you're single, you've been waiting. This could be a soulmate to you, but it's somebody that you had a strong, deep attraction to, an emotional connection within you. And they also did with you, but they were complacent, they were idle. This person may be waiting for you to approach them. Now, we're looking at the energies of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, 
Taurus. Yeah, we're looking at all energies here except for really air sign. So there's no communication going on. You're planning, you're putting all your best effort forward, you're throwing yourself, you're making yourself look, feel, and actually be at a place where you're ready for a relationship. Most definitely, they are watching you. Whatever you do for a living, whatever your self-employed business is, they're watching you, most definitely. They just see you as an amazing individual that they could have a really lovely relationship with. The higher font, this is following, this is morals, ethics, values. This is following tradition. You may be, you know, this person, could be very dogmatic in the way that they look at life, where they're basing things on other people, other people's beliefs and not necessarily theirs, creating confusion, okay? But you don't care, you're moving forward. I'm not waiting anymore. I know my value. I know what I have to offer in a romantic relationship. I am sexy, I'm passionate about life, I'm individual, I've created a life I love. You're in a very high vibration, yes. And they're trying to match you. So what I'm gonna do now is pull a romance angel card to see uh, how it ties in with this. And then we're gonna pull some detail on this. I wanna see if this is a, an actual partner for some of you that you, I think some of you walked away from this person and said, yeah, no. I am ready to go. You're sitting there. You don't, you know, you're on a high level of vibration. So you're ready. You're happy. You're joyous. You are feeling all sensations of life. And they're not. So you're not on the same page. And I could see where you're ready to move forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now I'm going to pull uh, the Romance Angel card on this side. And then on the Vimeo side, we're going to really pull the detail and additional oracle cards as well. Heart to heart conversation. So some of you, this is absolutely your current partner where you're not on the same page and you want excitement in life. You want to move forward, have adventurous um, experiences in life, romantic, you want to travel, you want to really embrace every aspect of life and they're still kind of stuck, right? So you need this heart-to-heart -heart conversation in order for the two of you to make up your mind. Do you want this or do you want to be single and move forward? I'm going to pull another one for your partner side. Basically, one single, one's for couples, but really it's both, right? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking is going to get you what you want. So whether you are single and creating the life you love or you're in a current relationship, these are very important factors in what you're trying to create in your world. So if you like this video, please thumbs up, share, and subscribe. If this doesn't resonate with you, check out your moon and rising sign because that may actually be a better energy for you right now. Now, click the link below. We're gonna go to Vimeo. We're gonna pull some massive detail and additional Oracle cards advice, maybe what's blocking you in your current love life. So thank you for watching and much love.